You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you try the gas. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. He'll be back in his Sit tight. Maybe. No. Oh, wait. You can walk into this room? I could have sworn you couldn't go in there. Size 11. Doesn't size match 11. the shoe size at the scene. Alright, so those are the two big ones. There we go. Let's have a chat. All right, movements of victims. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Doubt. You get the impression that what? Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. I hate that ad. When did you last <laughs> see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Ruth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Huh? Ah. Yes, actually, the, uh, the death threat note. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Alibi. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. Not the going out type. Doubt. So you were here, Fuck. tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? It was a loss of the trap, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <gasps> oh, snap. Oh, you knocked my hat off, you... Oh, God. 
You're awful hot under the collar for an innocent man, Mr. Henry. What's this pumpkin? Oh! Rude. Oh god. Boom. <laughs> Picked up his hat quick. Get a squad car dispatched and check for messages. I'll keep old slugger here company. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doctor. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. All right. Wow, we got a lot of information from that call. What do you think? Let's follow Jacob back to the station. Something about getting jumped makes me all itchy to lock him up. Central Police Station or Mendez's apartment? Uh, Peace objectives. Interrogate Jacob Henry and then go to the apartment, it looks like. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Her brother said she took a real pounding. Whoa. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, Not the good he would be in the situation though. now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, though. What is this guy doing? I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. <laughs> Central Police Station. All right. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Whoa. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsister pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. Those white boys get any on the side? Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. 
You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. Access to murder weapon. First. What's he going to say? What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. Do we have an alibi for him? Governor McConnell reports telephoning Jacob Henry repeatedly on night of murder. Okay. True. You'll have to do better Fuck. than that, Jacob. Check with Dick McCall at the Bomba. He'll tell you I was at home. That was truth, though. I could have accused him and then select his alibi. Lipstick marking. Everything points to you. What does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. The first, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other, where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me, who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. Deterioration of marriage. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. Not according to what the person said the night before. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her, all right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? I think he's telling the truth. You took the ring because you found out who gave it to her. <laughs> Why would you, you need to break in? Her prized garnet ring given to her by her old boyfriend. Yeah, what's going on, Pretoria? I never knew that. <laughs> I lived with that woman for three years and I never, I knew, never that. knew that. Well, in that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob, but I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps, you failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. What? Sure, sure. These jumpsuit is the jumpsuit of a murder. For the skipper, if we chase down this Mendez guy. You drive. 
I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? To Mendez's? <laughs> Blue's looking a little sus. But I don't Alonzo think he's the Mendez. imposter. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. <laughs> Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Mendez's apartment, 1046 a.m. All right, let's see. What room is he in? 16? Possibly. Let's see. Uh, duh. Well, look at that. 16. Mendez. <laughs> 16. Were you fluffing your pillows? Consoling him? Or heading an animal? Heading an animal. <laughs> She's uh, right next to she her head's like laying off the side of my bed. <laughs> Fourth floor. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. She looks like a, she's not wearing her collar right now, so she looks like a little wolf. Just like laying there asleep. Sixteen. There it is. The door in. Knock, knock. Look around and see what you can find. An escape. Oh snap! Yep, we definitely got our guy. Brothers can match the color and brand the color of a murder. Yeah, the thing's also covered in blood. I don't think you need to inspect it that close. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. The door just Captain closed. Begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. <laughs> Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Let this stop right there. Go, 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 go. It was yellow this whole time. You can do this, Alonzo. Not today, yellow. We're voting you out. Damn, he's quick. Get in and drive. Oh, snap, that was sick. Yellow was the imposter. <laughs> I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Oh. You ain't getting out of that one. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Damn, his car flipped over the other one. That was actually pretty sick. Not today, Yellow. I ain't a goddamn thing. Dun dun. You did a grand job, lads. 
Oh, oh, so now you're happy about my police work. a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand. <laughs> I clip of a murderer. <laughs> nice. Another one down. Case closed. Jacob Henry. Jacob. Jacob Henry. Uh, Jacob Henry is left to mourn while Mendez waits in lockup for a visit. <sighs> it crap. It better have saved. That's all I'm saying. Watch us have to do that last chase one more time. Mm. Zero dollars in injuries. I saw you rear end those poor people and snap their innocent necks like twigs. <laughs> Did you see that moment the car flipped though? It literally like he shot it and then we bumped into it and then the car just went and it tumbled right over and then somehow landed into yeah so he was facing to the right and then we whipped it around hopped out the car and he was like stay there <laughs> it's the price of uh Ooh. hello there hello there <laughs> Phantom Valkyrie, yo, thank you for the follow. How you doing? Why is it stuck? There it goes. And resume. Hopefully it picks up for the next case. Might have to do that last mission. Uh, damn it. We do. That sucks. Mendez, apartment 16. Whoa, what happened to the... Wait, there's subtitles now? This entire time during gameplay, there hasn't been subtitles. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. What just happened? <laughs> Subtitles only plays in the in the cutscenes, but now all of a sudden it's playing in this. Damn, we have to, ugh, sucks. We have to do this again. All right. Well, once we get to that uh, the ending scene, then Don't we're just gonna knock and just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. All right, pick this up. This guy. Brothers can match the color and brand of the body. The text is like really small now too. What the hell? That might be the resolution. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. We're gonna get you again, Yellow. You're not getting Mendez away today. Right there. Is everything is small now? <laughs> you don't need to do this, Alonzo. Alright, ready? 
Here he comes. Whip it around. Whip it around. Hey. Get in and drive. Let's do it. Handling's a little rough, but it's not the worst thing. Ah! Go, 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 damn it. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop the son of a bitch. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Goodness. Lexi, <laughs> so you can't skip this. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Dun dun. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. He doesn't have a drink. <laughs> he thought he was going to hand him one. I just realized that. All right, quick, 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 quick. Get through it before everything goes through. Case closed. Okay, got it. Saving. Dude, all I had to hit was enter. That sucks. Saving and then loading. Golden Butterfly. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> Jeez. Just got walloped into the side of the head. Galloway. Got it, Skipper. Yeah, I'll bring him. He's my partner, after all. What have we got? New case. White female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend him off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Skipper wants you to have your newspaper face on, college boy. <laughs> I think I know the place where they found the lady. Hold on one sec. Display graphics. Let's change it to 
All right, I am back. Let's go ahead and continue with this here. Okay. Grown man, playing at being born. You think the wise boys get any on the side? Partner cannot drive at this time. Oh wait, wrong car. <laughs> Why has he been drinking too much? Can you drive to this one? Okay. Nah, he's good. Did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time in Bath. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence, right? Right. See, I knew you were a fast learner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Crime scene, now, 1047 a.m. Boys, a. you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't Henderson. there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that matter. you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the City of Angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. <laughs> what do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. You all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? So, hey, what's, what's going on over there? I was first on scene. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. A family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. You're a modest little How bad is it? Much too modest. Come on, you can tell. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Oof. Here she is. The stomping angle in the Henry case, was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm. No blunt trauma, but the neck has been pretty messed up. Right. Very distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Looks like she was tied up. It does at first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist, too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Hmm. Another ring. What's this mark? A cut on a finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Footmarks. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. 
severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Okay, first. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R and I? Back in a second. Parent Teacher Association. Cash money. If the motive was robbery. Why not take the money? It obviously wasn't. R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. Hmm. What'd I tell you? Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? So what's going on over there? If olive oil comes from olives, where's baby oil come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're behind the wheel. <laughs> and where exactly are we going? I said, if I'll, olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? <laughs> there still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I she realized women might not be the pure angels we imagine. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. All the residents, 11 a.m. All right. Knock, knock. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back in just sit down. It doesn't appear to be connected. Ah, this glass looks, looks like very I suspicious. This isn't what we're looking for. Hmm. Very suspicious carrot. I'm clicking. shoes damn oh well. size, size eight. eight okay 
Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. In the ring. No sign of a wedding ring. Nice. It's everything here. All right, let's have a chat. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Take an aspirin. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. Missing Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Truth. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring. Mommy chose it herself. The rose gold wedding band and the matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes, a yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. And did what? he come and get you? Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. There's some funny facial expressions now. The notebook, do we have anything about missing wise size that? This one's alibi. All right, doubt. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And they always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! Oh my God! It's Dad, him. The police Go to your room, here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. I didn't she's know he was in this game. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's your some kind of. Your wife was found murdered this morning. That's found? so funny. What? The... But but she only. Ah, dude, I forget his name, but he's in so many things. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. He was in The Boys recently. He was in uh, Heroes. Heroes is what I know him from, mostly. That's funny, though. Huh. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Lies. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Because you have size 8 work boots. That's funny. The work boots we found here are size 8s. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. <laughs> You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up.
you didn't report that she was missing till this morning? That's very unusual, Mr. Muller. Not to mention suspicious. Look, I, I was annoyed with her. That's why I was waiting for her to come home. Why, you telling me something different? Uh... You better think about leaving, or you're gonna have some trouble on your hands. Okay. So Alibi. you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? Why do I feel like I should use this? He tried calling home repeatedly, but no answer on night of the murder. So why there did you go. take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Movements of to pick up Michelle. Victim. Yes, that's right. What? That's a lie. I think you went with her, but you didn't go to the school. What really happened, Waller? You're making this stuff up, and I'll dare anyone to prove any different. If you don't ask, you never find out. Doubt. What happened, Fuck. Hugo? You got any theories? Because we're starting to like you for this. The car park by the school is kind of dark. Uh, maybe somebody jumped her there. Did you try the parking lot? <sighs> Your wife was beaten and then strangled. Two for four. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. Not according to what your daughter said. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Butterfly brooch. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. <laughs> Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi, check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no <laughs> evidence tying him to the crime scene. Detective! Question neighbor. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. What's he doing over there? This guy's got a screw loose. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. There he is. See him? I'm tapping it. 
tackle. Get back here, you. What the hell? Enough running, Hugo. Hands where we can see them. Explain the blood. Get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Is there someone you can call, miss? I, I don't know at the moment. You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. Do you have other family? Grandparents? Aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Akersfield and... Call her. We're going to get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Let's use the phone. Galloway, homicide Help. division. One, two, four, seven. Five, six, four. Go ahead, detective unit. Should we get Ray Pinker and a technical service? It's a good thing we didn't address on a Belmont High North School. Bonnie Bray Street. Checking for you, detective. Send someone down from Juvenile Hall to look after a young lady. Belmont High. Roger, 11 1575 West 2nd Street. Thank you. I don't need this. That's a cop. Seems like a decent guy. Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has a report waiting. Police morgue downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. All right. Can you look at this clown? Let's see what he has to say. Any ideas? We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. Just been paid I'm stumped. Ideas? We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up. Take you care drive, of the kid. I need to go over the case notes. Didn't Fine. you just call it in? Where are we headed? I guess we can just go to the. Uh... You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Central Morgue. Yes. Let's go to the morgue first. I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband you were here. Always make the husband nice. Nine times out of ten is the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical. <laughs> I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. I'll try this one on for size. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Close his case, it's cold. <laughs> Puts a lot of people away, that one. Rusty's old school. He doesn't care about whether it's the right person or not. He just likes closing the cases. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Take a look at the samples on the bench.
normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. Hmm. do anything else with these I'm confused so are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister well in my experience sailors seem to have the greater libido was mrs. Muller criminally attacked no external or internal traces of semen thanks Mal. anything else comes up you let us know we've got to nail this guy pattern yeah wait there's a phone in here where's the phone at There it is. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? Are there How any can messages I help, for me? Detective? Yes, Detective. A green nineteen forty six coupe registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks, ma'am. All right. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? <laughs> Excuse me. Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man, professional, diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that, the coroners. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. <laughs> the wrong kind of man can get off and lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. Belmont High School, 5.37 p.m. This is the car? Yes, sir, Detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, hmm. sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. 